to Super Swimmer, your African window on the world of aquatics. In this episode, we feature highlights from the SA National Aquatic Championships from Quebecer. Stay with us and check out the action right here on Super Swimmer. Ready. This is Newton Park Pool Complex in Tobacco in the Eastern Cape. Olympic swimmers, national champions and aspirant future champions have converged on the friendly city for the 2022 South African National Aquatic Championships. This year the event serves as a qualifier for the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England as well as for the FINA World Swimming Champs in Budapest, Hungary. It is a tough six-day program, made even tougher by including the Junior National Championships with the seniors. Five women and four men made the qualifying times for the Commonwealth Games and World Championships. Let's go poolside and get on with the action. Women's 400. And leading the way in lane five, Rebecca Mida from KZN. The SA record in this event held by Catherine Meeklem set way back in 2008 at the Olympics in Beijing. Rebecca Mida with a healthy lead. Mida still aren't in front. Ahead of Marlise Ross and Samantha Randall. Marlise Ross doing well to close the gap somewhat, but Rebecca, Rebecca Mida still well out in front as she completes the penultimate leg of the IM. And she transitions to freestyle to finish things off. Mida looking exceptionally strong. Followed by Marlise Ross and Samantha Randall. Final turn for Mida. Mida continues to power on. There'll be no stopping her. It's just a question of who's going to get second place. At the moment, it looks as if it will go the way of Ross. That being said, Randall putting up a big fight. But Rebecca Mida cruising to victory. Takes the win. There was no doubt about that. Dominated from start to finish. And I think Samantha Randall came home in second place. We'll wait and see. Moving over now to the men's competition. It's the final of the 400 freestyle. The man to watch here, of course, Matthew Sates. The 18 year old from KZN, having just shot the lights out over in the USA. His closest challenger expected to be Andrew Ross in lane five. On, mate. 
And away they go. The men's 400 freestyle final. Matt Sates out in lane four. Andrew Ross keeping him honest. Good start as well by Dante Norquia. Roberto Gomez looking good. With Max Litchfield. Very good uh, start from him over in lane three. Matt Saints, Andrew Ross. The fight is on. Max Litchfield, too, very much in the running. Tighter than expected with Matt, Max Litchfield doing a very, very good job in lane three. In fact, he'll be first to touch at the turn. And he is. The race is on between Litchfield and Saints. Andrew Ross starting to make a comeback now. Almost at the halfway mark. Continuing to do good things in lane three. Just ahead of Saints. Andrew Ross looking strong too. Litchfield once again, first at the turn. And Matt Saints. Starts to put on the afterburners now. Now they start. Matt Saints. Starts to quicken his speed. And Saints just edging ahead of Litchfield. Go! Go! This is a terrific race from both competitors. Go! Saints now, look at that kicking speed. Go! Go! The arm speed. He is flying now. Saints turns for the final time. And here they go. It's Matt Sates versus Litchfield. Litchfield doing well to keep this a close contest. Now Sates breaks away. Sates is flying. Matthew Sates gets the victory. Congrats all round. We'll wait for time confirmation. A healthy rivalry between those two. SA record in this event. The 400 free. Miles Brown, 345.92. As we move over to the final of the men's 50, free S14, S15. Numerous Paralympians taking part. in picture there a popular figure amongst the swimmers and away they go men's 53 s14 s15 
Remember, the different categories doesn't necessarily mean that the outright winner is the winner. Or a person who comes second could come first in his category. Aaron Pounce looking good in lane five. He'll touch it on first. Terrific performance from him. Also a terrific swim. Amtele Kamarana doing well. Pounce coming in in 28.37. Next, we have the men's 53, S1 and S13. It's one man to watch out for, Christian Saadi, the Paralympian. Tremendous athlete. Men's 53, S1, S13. Hendricks looking good in lane four. Christian Sadi just behind. Matthew Moss also strong from him. Josh Nienaba flying in lane six. Touching home first. In lane four, Nathan Hendricks. Matthew Moss, Christian Sadi, and Josh Nienaba. S1 and S13 multi-class. Nathan Hendricks doing the business from lane four. Next up, staying with the short stuff, 50 meters. 50 meter freestyle, S14, S15 multi-class. Netjansa van Rensburg and Kate Elwood. Fifty-three S fourteen S fifteen multi-class. Both swimmers hailing from the Western Cape. They certainly are flying. A tightly fought contest. Kate Elwood getting home in a time of 35.65. Janssen van Rensburg, 36.18. Next, we have the 53 still. This is S1, S13 multi-class. We saw this amongst the men. Now with the ladies taking to the water. Everson, Douglas, Maria, Leach, Crickler, Pereira, Van Sale, and Swanepoel. And in they go. So two different class of competitors in the water. In the lane closest to Cameron, lane eight, Kat Swanepoel. Been an outstanding competitor since focusing on swimming a few years back. In lane four, Cornell Leach. Looking very good in lane six, though. I think it is Alani Ferreira that gets there first. We'll wait for confirmation. Kat Swanepoel touching home. And it was Alani Ferreira. 31.87 for her. Kat Swanepoel, a very good time of 46.95. Cornell Leach. 32.15. Thanks once again for joining us this evening.
has been a terrific event so far in Trebecha. Day one of six. Next up, we've got the women's 200 freestyle. Mentioned George Janelle earlier. Of course, she is competing in this event. She'll be swimming out of lane seven. Really has been an outstanding start to the SA Swimming Championships here in Trebecha. Once again, Newton Park Swimming Pool playing tremendous hosts. And the juniors in action a little earlier. It's been a long day of swimming, plenty of action, well over 100 races taking to the water. Away they go. Good start from Amy Canny. Danae Kutsia looking good too. Michaela Polford. Strong start. But already out in front. Amy Canny. Exceptional start from the lady in purple. Canny making the turn in 27 1 9. Well clear of the rest. This is a superb start from her. Amy Kenny, the 18-year-old from the Western Cape. At the halfway mark, 56.59. There's a strong battle for second place at the moment. That's if Kenny doesn't let up. And by the looks of things, she's not going to anytime soon. Kenny is well clear of the pack. Her closest challenger, Danae Kutsia. Kenny at 127.24. A very strong performance here from Amy Kenny. You can hear the crowd cheering her on. She will cruise home with a very good finish. 158.34. I tell you what, that was a superb performance. The South African record stands at 157.17. That by Corin Prinsler. So can he not too far off? She'll be ecstatic with that performance. Danae Kutsia coming home in second place. Erin Gallagher rounding off the top three. Amy Canny, the only swimmer to dip below the two-minute mark. 158.34. A very good performance from her. Good performance from her. So we just saw Matt Sates collecting his medal. Will he be able to get another one now? It's about to take to the pool. This is going to be a cracker. It is the men's 50 butterfly final. Listen to this cast of characters. Raymond, Hooney, Saints, Leclo, Kutzer, Haddon, Jimmy, and Platner. Whoa, this is the blockbuster. Blink and you'll miss it. Watch closely. Leclo, the Olympian gold medal winner. He'll be challenged hard by Saints and Kutzer and numerous others. It's a fast one. Leclerc gets out quickly. Sates hot on his heels. So is Kutsia. Leclerc looking strong. The senior man in front. Leclerc out in front. He's still ahead. Chad Leclerc. Chad Leclerc. There's no stopping the legend. He's happy. Leclerc getting first place. 23.93. Will not be stopped. Peter Kutsia grabbing second. Matt Saints in third. The man on top. Who else? The Chad Leclerc.
So next up, it is the women's 50 breast. Breaststroke finals. Tatjana Skunmarker, of course, in the mix. But Laura Finnekak, who earlier today set a new South African and African record. Laura Finnekak, can she break her own record? She set it this morning, 29.72. And she's going up against a world record hold in Tatiana Skunmarker. Of course, that's in the 200 breaststroke. But 29.72 is that magic number set earlier today by Laura Finnickak swimming in lane four. Fifty breaststroke final is upon us with the woman, Tatiana Skunmarker, going along nicely. But all eyes on Laura Finnickak, over in lane four. Very good performance so far from Tatiana Skunmarker. This is lightning quick. Skunmarker in lane five, Laura Finnickak getting ahead. Finnickak, Finnickak, what will her time be? 30.60. Just slower than her time earlier today, 29.72, but still good enough for first place. Laura Finnickak beating out Tatjana Skunmaka. Wow, South Africa is blessed with swimming talent, particularly when it comes to breaststroke. Laura Finnickak grabbing the win. Tatjana Skunmaka in second place, and Kayleen Corbett rounding off the podium. to go before we wrap things up here in Quebec, but before we do, some epic races still to come. The next event, women's 100 meter butterfly final. Lovemore, Mida, Hearn, Kutsia, Gallagher, Habst, Rousseau, and Hess. Erin Gallagher, is the South African record holder, 57.67. She posted back in 2019. And away they go, Janae could see her in lane four, so certainly the one to watch. But Erin Gallagher, absolutely no slouch. She's done it before, she can do it again. And it's a good start for Gallagher. Gallagher versus Kutsia. Could this be the battle? Kutsia well off the pace at the moment. Gallagher... F Not first of the wall. That belonged to Rebecca Mida. And this is an exceptional swim from Erin Gallagher. In lane five. Gallagher looking very, very good. And Gallagher not being challenged. She is cruising to what is a sensational victory. Erin Gallagher, 59.78. She'll be thrilled with that performance. Today could see in second position. And Rebecca Mida grabbing third. Erin Gallagher, 59.78, the only competitor to dip below the one-minute mark. Remember, she does hold the South African record, that of 57.67. Many exciting showdowns, and we'll feature highlights over the next few weeks. This has been Super Swimmer. I'm Derek Alberts. Please stay safe, and thank you for watching.